Division two, that's where patients with mental illness are usually housed at Cook County Jail. And for many, the only psychiatric care they ever get is when they are incarcerated. Sheriff Tom Dart invited CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli to get an inside look at what's going on at the jail in this original report. This is a rare look inside Cook County Jail's Division Two. It's where most of the jail's mentally ill inmates are housed. Inmates like Stephen Brandon, who's in for stealing liquor. When I get too anxious, I like to drink liquor to, just to take the edge off. And he gets anxious when he's not on his medication to treat bipolar disorder. But staying on his meds can be difficult because Brandon is homeless. And sometimes people steal my medication because it's a controlled substance. So Brandon self-medicates by drinking. And if he can't afford the alcohol, he steals it. Alex Hawkins McFarland says he also had to resort to theft. With this incarceration, it was a result of me not being able to get my medication. Hey, don't spray me! And this can be the result of untreated mental illness. An inmate barging out of his cell and leaping over a second floor railing. A cell door smeared with feces. Another inmate licking the floor of the jail bus. For many mentally ill inmates, being in jail is the only time they get regular treatment and their medications. To me, it did a lot of good for me. To be yeah. behind bars? Yeah. Because you got back on your mask. Yeah. I'm in a place right here where the, um, they give us a lot of help that we need. But the need is tremendous. Just ask Kimberly Keeney, who meets with inmates as they're checked in. 70% of the women I met today were mentally ill. They had a background of medications, they have a background of diagnosis, of hospitalization, suicide attempts. Sheriff Dart says up to 35% of the inmates are suffering from some form of mental illness. He now calls his jail one of the country's largest mental health facilities. We're the ones that get to send them back out into the streets with no hope of anywhere to stay, no hope of any type of active care about their medication, nothing. Does that keep you up at night? It does. Think you're gonna go over there? And it worries Brandon too because he fears what will happen when he returns to his home on the streets. How sad is it for you to have to say that the best place for you to get treatment is behind bars in the Cook County Jail? Uh, it's pretty sad because I'm, I'm a high functioning, but when I don't take the medicine, I'm a mess. Inside Cook County Jail, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. And treating these patients in the jail easily costs $150 a day. DART says having more facilities for inpatient and community care would be cheaper and more effective. Funding for mental health services has dropped over the last five years, but plans are in the works for the state to spend $25 million more in this fiscal year.